Hello everyone, my name is Ben. Welcome to Chipsharp. This is the first devlog video of the game I've been developing for about a year now. Captured in Viso. The main concept is making a 3D RPG where the character is captured in a turn-based strategy game like Heroes, where besides taking control of the heroes, leading monsters to battle, or as I call them leaders, capturing resource production facilities and building castles, one should also talk with the participants of this game to find out they are also captives in the game and take on the quest to free them, along of course multiple side quests. I know that they say one should start with a really small game, however I always prefer jumping straight into the deep. I am in an early stage of the game, but I do have ever-growing motivation, ambition and other nice uh, feelings, yes. So let me briefly show you where I am right now in the process. For the game engine I am using Unity with Universal Render Pipeline. As you can probably tell by my channel name, I like C-sharping and chipmunks. You can also expect tutorials for Unity, URP shaders and small C-sharp programs for Windows on this channel. Now to the game. I started by implementing the level generator. You will be able to edit the map from inside the game, but for the early stages I made a pretty simple map editor as a Unity tool. As you can see, you can add water, grass plains, grass hills, set some parameters, then click on generate and the 3D level is created. If you want me to go into details on how this tool and the generator algorithm works, comment down below. Then I made the code to generate a tree with multiple settings. If you would like to see a tutorial on this, also please comment. So I created four variants, including them in a prefab, and saved them in a resources folder so I can load them dynamically from the game. I included an item selector that lists the resources folder so these items can be placed in the map. Now we plant some trees. Generate and boom! Trees! Next code was to create something pickable, like a pile of wood. Yes, yes, I also wrote code to create a pile of wood instead of making it in Blender. If you want a tutorial, it's kind of my thing, but it has its advantages. About that later. Let me just quickly place some wood piles on the map. There, now to pick it up. I... Arrgh, not working. We will need a character. So we open Blender at the sphere and got you. I also made a character by code. Now look at the advantages of making character by code. And the slider and adjust the age. Adult baby. Adult baby. Adult baby. Right, right. I will never finish my game at this pace. But I don't want to cheat. I am ashamed. But if you want a tutorial on procedural character creation, I mean finishing the face also in code, and adding the animations also in code, please comment, yes. But keep it in mind that this one takes some <clears throat> much time. For the early stages I was satisfied with some simple casual clothing, but in time the feature of changing clothes will be addressed, I promise. After making character controls and collisions, we can finally roam around. Now to pick up this wood pile. Pressing E, pressing E, pressing E. 
Oh wait, I haven't implemented it yet. And also, we are not from this world. We can only control the characters who are from this world. Let's make the leader of the monsters. So a quick cheat in Blender and there is our leader, a real knight. Before I tried picking up the foot pile again, I had to implement a path system to mark the way for our knight. First we need the marker to show us where we are. And that is our humble marker. Alright, alright, I just couldn't watch the poor man's leg being intersected by those long vertices, so I made it just a bit more complicated than simple, but uh, not much. So in this game you should be talking to make contact, as this is an RPG, remember? For this I made a smaller marker and the basic UI to make John follow us. Yes, his name is John. Deal with it. And now to mark the way. I'm making move. Now we are talking. The pass creation algorithm is not the best though. John takes any longer pass without the slightest regret. But I left that for later. So then I made some magic particles and made John. John? Now we are talking. Finally picking up a wood pile. But wait. How did this get here? Who makes wood pies? Right, a woodcutter. So, to the next phase. So while making the woodcutter, I made several pieces, all by code of course, to build a house from. This will be beneficial later, because I plan for you to be able to decorate some parts of your castles with pieces like this. Ok, now these trees should be able to fall. Just like that. I guess those particles turned out quite nice, don't you think? Ok, now guy to make it fall. Guy named Reginald. Yes, that's the right name for woodcutter. Go Reginald. Hmm, we are missing something. That's it. But hey. You know, this game is not like that game, where things are popping out of nowhere. We will have a place for the eggs to stay, and Reginald will just go and get it, ok? Hit it, Reginald! Yes, now grab it and put it in a pile. Alright! Ok, we are running out of trees. What do we need to grow them back? That's right, oh well. But where is the water? Oh wait, the ground is blocking the view. Shame on you ground. We need a new feature to include holes in the ground. That's it, now we see the water. And we can lower this stuff, but there is no bucket. Ok, now we have a bucket and we can fill it in with the water. I just put it here and... Oh, Reginald! There he comes. Yes, take the bucket. Go and water the trunks. Oh, a new little plant. How cute it is. So now we have a woodcutter doing his thing, but we should first capture it. So I also made that part and... Yes, it's officially ours. Now Reginald said he will start tomorrow. So we need the sun to go down. For the sun I made a slider to adjust the time of the day with 6 a.m. being the morning, when the sun rises, and 6 p.m. being the sunset. Isn't it beautiful? Now we make a deal with John. Don't worry, this is also a feature I just added, to have only a certain amount of steps per day, so we can wait until next morning, and make a deal with John. Then next morning, Reginald starts working.
and finishes in the house. Next day, again. And again. And again. And the wood pie grows. And we are a happy owner. So this is the progress I have so far. My next goals for the following weeks are to address the blinking problem, make a flag to indicate the owner of the production unit, have a little wind for the trees, have some way of collecting wood from the woodcutter periodically, and have a UI for showing some basic statistics like what day and what time it is, how much wood you have, and how many production units you captured. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know in the comments what I could do better. And please subscribe for more updates. See you all in the next video.